you know, I'd moved here and um, was still planning on traveling abroad, but you know, COVID happened and I couldn't travel abroad. And so it, it sparked that more of wanting to, to explore even more of my backyard. So I wanted a vehicle that I could overland in, basically take off off road, um, find, you know, the great, great thing about Arizona is it's wide and there's a lot of places where you can do this dispersed camping. A lot of it has to do with my job. My job is soul sucking and my job is hard. And so for me to be able to get out in nature, it fills my cup back up and it allows me to you know, be a nurse and do the things that I need to do when I am working. It fills my soul. It's peaceful and um, calming and it makes me feel grounded and part of, you know, the amazing vastness of our, our world and the community that I live in. And our healthcare system is broken, unfortunately, so that's I'm actually trying to get out away from bedside nursing and start my own business. Um, I want to be a holistic uh, nurse coach and help people, you know, put health back into their healthcare and actually, you know, get healthy again. That would feed my feed my soul and give to the community in a way that resonates with me and you know is kind of important to my moral compass because I would rather help people be healthy and happy and be able to adventure and do the things in life that they really want to do. My life has been um, all about death. So I lost my brother when I was 14 years old in a car accident. My mom died two years later when I was 16. And then I um, became a nurse. It took me a long time to become a nurse. Um, and then when I did, I worked ICU and then I became a donor nurse. So I met with families when their loved ones were dying and asked for organs. And I did that for eight years. Um, I worked in the same ICU where my mom and my brother were died. My father um, was eight months from retirement and died. He never enjoyed his fucking life. He was always saving the mighty dollar and like always like, oh, when I retire, when I retire. And he never got to retire, he died. So that kind of inspired me to like, I'm gonna start living my life. I started traveling and traveling really sparked that for me. Like this is more of a new life for me. Of I wanna be on the other side. Instead of death, I wanna be on life, the side of life, the little bit that I have left.